Okay, this one here is where we get into the bendable metals that can communicate with one another. We're starting to work on those formulas now, just so you know. This is exciting for me. Part 284, C3M, 1B7, C8E, 13C9, C6D, 3P26. So line 22, F1, FA, 19C3M, 1B7, C8E, 13C9, C6D, 3P26 is transmembrane A helix Na Na plus ions formula 5G well study. We had a formula in the last video as well. Just they're all connected with each other. Just so you know, you can start to go right back to 3P uh, number one, and that's where we'll start. Actually, all of line 22 is about metal alloys and super alloys to be part of the mixture, which will be cross-referenced in the future. So there's the alien radial signal. Now, this is really long. See my description here? Okay, so I'm going to tell you what this says. It's keyword research for super alloy mixture formulas for bendable metals, proteins, fuel formulas required in chemistry reactions. We're going to cross-reference with lines 1 to 27 while data. My thoughts. Noted the following keywords which have to cross-reference with lines 1 to 27 while data once it's complete. I'm not going to read that to you because that is in the video. So I'm going to do a shortcut here. So January 25th, 2013. The keyword is rainy type nickel. And it started on line 22, F1FA, 19C3M, 1B7, C8E, 13C9, C6D, 3P23. Synchrotron X-ray rainy nickel keywords, 5G well study. And today's February the 2nd. Um, January 26th, the keyword in the next video is NA ions. I googled it and it leads to a keyword transmembrane protein. So we're, <clears throat> we're going to see if we can mix this in with super alloys and use it to transfer information from one cell into another within the metal itself. Uh, from the previous video, line 22, <laughs> left out a number there. Uh, F1FA 19C3M 1B7 C8E 13C9 C6D 3P25. Neuron sodium circuits engine formula UFO 5G well study. Quotes and diagrams are from Wiki. Okay, this is a schematic representation of transmembrane proteins. Number one is a single transmembrane A helix bitopic membrane protein. B is a polytopic transmembrane A helical protein. And C is a polytopic transmembrane B sheet protein. The membrane is represented in light brown. Okay. My thoughts, a, a helix. We just look at chiral helix spiral springs. Is there a connection here? The spiral helix plus the transmembrane proteins. I'm going to Google to see what comes up. This is what comes up on January 26. There's a picture and quote from a blog. This bacterial photosynthetic reaction center was the first membrane protein to have its structure determined. The purple spirals, alpha helices, show where the protein crosses the membrane. In the orientation above, the left part of the molecule protrudes from the outside of the bacterial cell, while the right side is inside of the cell. <clears throat> Courtesy of Elisa Zapp Maltelek. Publications.nigms.nih.gov. There's the link. Keyword alpha helix. So we'll take a look at that and see what it is. And there's the structure of it. From Fumuki, this is a side view of an A helix of alanine, residues in atomic detail. Two hydrogen bonds to the same peptide group are highlighted in magneta, and the H to O distance is about 2A or 0.nm. The protein chain runs upwards here, and its N terminus is at the bottom and its C terminus is at the top. Note the side chains, gray stubs, these little things. Um, Hmm. Angle slightly downward toward the end terminus while the peptide oxides red, they point up. And the peptides NS, NHS point down. The alpha helix, A helix, is a common secondary structure of proteins and is a right-handed coiled or spiral conformation helix in which every backbone H to N to H group donates a hydrogen bond. So we'll have we have to look at hydrogen bonds then. To the backbone C equals zero group of the amino acid four residues earlier, and there's the um, equation, hydrogen bonding. The secondary structure is also sometimes called a classic Pauling Curry Branson alpha helix. The name 413 helix is also used for this type of helix, donating 
A hydrogen bond between every carbonyl oxygen and alpha amino nitrogen of the fourth residue toward the C terminus and 13 atoms being involved in the ring. Among types of local structure and proteins, the helix is the most regular and the most predictable from sequence as well as the most prevalent. My thoughts. Noted the following keywords which have to be cross-referenced with lines 1 to 27 wild data. Hydrogen bond, helix, carbonyl, alpha amigo, no, alpha amino nitrogen, and oxygen. I'm going to cross-reference with numbers appearing in wild data just to show you how much of it uh, shows up in the data. I haven't gone through each video, but this is just showing you how many times it shows up. In. So, hydrogen bond comes up in 40 videos brought up in the formulas and wilds cross-reference in the future when line 27 is complete. So, as of line 22, there's 40 videos so far. Helix, formulas and well, there's 27 pages of data coming up. And, again, I'm not going to repeat this over and over again, but when I get to line 27, I'm going to redo it all. Carbonyl, just carbonyl, I left out the word oxygen, it has 11 videos. Um, oxygen has 59 videos. And alpha amino nitrogen. And, yeah, it's got, uh, it had one. Alpha amino nitrogen brings this up. Line 22, F1, FA, 19, C3M, 1B7, C8, E6. Self-replicating peptide, magnets, neutrinos, fuel, 5G, wild city. So this is because it has something to do with the nitrogen and self-generating fuel formulas that came up. So this is what that formula says to do. December 8, 2012. <laughs> My thoughts. Neutrinos show the self-replicating cell theory to be true. Formula from data, a, pertur a, pertur a perturbation, collision of particles equals switch from one pattern, neutrino, neutron neutrino to electron neutrino, plus large numbers of cells interacting. And components in Higgs electric field spontaneously organize, add a particle that likes to organize things and replicate them to the neutrino. And then add it to the cooled liquid argon and gas mixture in the wild data's formulas given in lines 15 to 22's data. Keyword in the next video. I have no idea. What did I do here? Sorry. Oh, two-dimensional gas. We're going to look up two-dimensional gas next. Okay. And I'll just put that in here. Uh, there. And I'm going to pop that up at the top. So I'm going to thank you for watching.